Ladies and gentlemen, if I could have your attention for a moment. You're all very welcome here today for our 2023 conferring ceremony. Before the ceremony commences, and for your safety and comfort, I would like to bring the following information to your attention. There were four exits in the Thoman suite, one exit to the left and one exit to the right of the seating. There's also two emergency exits at the back of the room. In the unlikely event of an emergency, we would ask you to proceed directly and calmly to the nearest exit. When exiting the building, please do not use the lift. Once outside the building, we would ask you to proceed to the assembly point located in the car park. The assembly point is marked with green signage. We kindly request that you remain in your seats for the duration of the ceremony. Should you require to leave your seats, please use the exit nearest to you. Please note that smoking or vaping is not permitted. In preparation for the ceremony, I would like to ask you to please turn off your mobile phones. As this event will be live streamed and photographed, we kindly request that you refrain from talking during the ceremony. If I could ask you to please stand for the graduate procession. Could all please remain standing for the academic procession.
Please be seated. Ian Erica, a green Ushla file to arrive. Could you and Sharman a shot in a run for a dove octony or the Dukish a rave came out on Kalashtra? Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this graduation ceremony at which third level awards will be conferred on graduates of Griffith College, Limerick. Our panel members today include Professor Dermot Hegarty, President of Griffith College, Councillor. Gerald Mitchell, Mayor of Limerick City and County. Kevin O'Sullivan, Head of Griffith College Limerick. Ronan Fenelon and Kevin Gagan, Directors of Griffith College. Finbar Sheehy, Education Director in a Pharma Education. Eilish McCarthy and Anya Behan, Programme Directors and faculty lecturers involved in the delivery of the college's programmes. I'm Dr. Tomás Bogokogon, the college's Director of Academic Programmes, and I have the pleasure of being your MC for this graduation ceremony. Con tusakar leisha himakti, iramanisha and tolav dirma tegarti, uchtaran kolajti agriafa, lawartling, a kiauna kolajta. I would like to begin the proceedings by inviting Professor Dirma Tegarty, President of Griffith College, to deliver a conferring address. Distinguished guests, colleagues, graduates, ladies and gentlemen, can you hear me? Well, I'm greatly relieved not to have got the same answer many years ago which I got in the lecture room, which was far from, from the back, very back of the restaurant, of the, the lecture room, somebody called out, I can hear you, but I would happily swap with someone who can't. <laughs> <laughs> so, distinguished guests, today is a day for celebration of success. It's a day in which I'm reminded of an exchange between President Woodrow Wilson then president of Princeton University and the parent of a prospective student. Uh, the parent asked, what can Princeton do for my son? To which President Wilson responded, we in Princeton University guarantee success. And if we don't succeed, you get your son back. So, today, ladies and gentlemen, it's our pleasure to return to you, your sons, daughters, husbands, wives, and partners with success written all over their faces. The path to success was not always easy. Hence the support of family, partners, and friends who shared your trials and tribulations, who prepared meals for you, who put up with your inevitable, but hopefully few cranky moods, and those who readily accepted the stress that you were so relieved to pass on. Now, in the time-honored tradition of Griffith College, I'm going to ask the parents, partners, families, and friends um, to stay seated. And I'm going to ask you, the graduates, to stand up. Now, I want you to turn to your family, partners, and friends on either side of you, okay, and express your thanks to them by acclamation, applause, cheers, however you like, for the support that you have received over the last number of years. I guess you thought this was your day. <laughs> well, I, I don't mean to take away from your achievement as students. Uh, it is your day. But treasure this special moment. I, it will live vividly in memory for many years to come. An academic award is not an entitlement of rank or class. It's won through many hours of mental toil and diligent application. No one can take this from you. So wear your gowns with pride and hold your qualifications in the high esteem they deserve. As president of the college, you would wish me to acknowledge the contribution to your success of my colleagues uh, as members of boards, as lecturers, as administrators, librarians, and faculty members. You may sit down. <laughs> <laughs> I'm delighted to welcome our distinguished guests, uh, the Mayor of Limerick and County Councillor, uh, Jared Mitchell. 
a native of hospital in County Limerick, qualified auctioneer with more than 40 years' experience working in the family business, which is more than 100 years old. Mary Mitchell continues a proud family legacy of public representation. He's an ancestral relationship, relation sorry, of Thomas B. Mitchell, who was the first chairman of Limerick County Council in 1899. Thomas's brother, Edwin Mitchell, also served on the first council. Mary Mitchell's grandfather, Edmund J. Mitchell, served on Limerick County Council from 28 to 42. So, as you can see, there's a long tradition of representation within that family. A long and proud tradition, I'm sure. Today, we gather not only to celebrate your success, but also to acknowledge the pivotal role that education plays in shaping a sustainable and prosperous future for us all. It's an honour to stand before you as founder of Griffith College as we mark our 50th anniversary next year. A legacy of excellent innovation and impact which you now continue. As we look back on this half century of academic excellence, let us also cast our gaze forward to the 21st century challenges. Of these, none is more pressing than the existential threat of climate change. Clearly, we need to recognise the impact of our lifestyles on the planet gifted to us. We are just birds of passage. For Christians and Indians devoted to Annapurna, I suggest these words as appropriate. Remind us, Lord, as we sit down to eat, of fishes, loaves, and water turned to wine. These miracles that you each day repeat as sun and earth give life to your design. Oh, how we take for granted precious air and miracles like photosynthesis. Our carbon footprint stains the heaven stair while we have yet to learn to leave as is. Remind us, Lord, how short the span of life. Our pleasures, like ourselves, are sure to die. And they will not beget our children's strife if we just cherish water, earth, and sky. Of equal concern must surely be the impact of conflicts such as in Ukraine, Israel, and Gaza on the future of the planet. We all thought that the Iron Curtain collapsed with the Berlin Wall and that the courageous peacemaking of Yitzhak Rabin brought an end to the Palestinian-Israeli conflict. However, these wars have shown, have shown us that history repeats itself and the only victor is the Grim Reaper. What is happening in Ukraine, Gaza and West Bank surely contains the seeds of repeated conflict. The real worry is the inherent threat of miniaturization. Look at the versatility and power of the mobile phone that sits in your pocket. It's only a matter of time when a nuclear bomb takes the space of a briefcase with horrific potential consequences. We fervently wish for peace, but wishing it is not enough. It falls to your generation, recognizing that life is precious, to eliminate the conditions such as poverty, disadvantage, discrimination, and civil strife, which lead to wars, and to create environments conducive to peace. That's easily said. They're easily said for our generation, which in some respect I think has failed in that regard. Uh, uh, but take comfort in the global village you are creating and in the valuable connections you have made. Together, you can form a community of minds dedicated to making a difference, to effecting change on a global scale. I want you to envisage the years when you will be the ones making the key decisions, the ones influencing the course of history. Climate change and peace will be your paramount concerns, as you will be at the forefront of those discussions in devising solutions that safeguard our planet for generations to come. Now, we graduate this month a truly international group of graduates, and I wish to congratulate them and welcome their families in their own language. Bahatri Chatro, my apka or apke karvalun kathas swagert kartahun. Pakistani Talibat, Apko Bohot Mubarak, Ar Apke Karwalunko Kushamdit. Wana Funzi Wa Kenya, Hongera Sana, Karibuni Kwa Familia Yen. Nigerian students, Ma Pipa de Naja. How far? How are your day? <laughs> Congratulations for you study Noahala. Michlein Ernach, Forge, Love, Carda, August Guelta. Whatever your nationality, don't hesitate 
to set your sights on the pinnacle of your profession. Your standards are set by your fellow alumni, who last year took 17 prizes, and so far this year have taken 19 prizes across all accounting body examinations. And bear in mind, these include a first in the world uh, and six first in Ireland and ACTA placing from among 442,000 students in 178 countries. First among 542,000. That is some achievement. Uh, and one achieved by one of your colleagues. Also, they've achieved the first, uh, 12 first places in the Irish CPA examinations in 2022. In media, your standards are set by uh, 2022 Communications and Media alumni, Aoife O'Mara, Student of the Year for Journalism Relation to Science and Technology at the S Media Awards 2023, and Anna Montero, finalist in both Grad Ireland, Undergraduate Difference Maker of the Year, and the European Movement, My EU50 Student Competition. <coughs> Excuse me. Your future might be Minister for Justice, <coughs> might be Minister of State in the Department of Foreign Affairs, might be Managing Partner of KPMG, might be CEO of Citibank Ireland, and might be Chief Financial Officer of Ryanair, might be the first female jockey to win the Grand National, it might be Dublin Chamber's youngest ever president, it might be playing for Ireland in the Rugby World Cup, it might be the owner of Homestore More, successful Irish enterprise, it might be best-selling author, okay, or Love Island TV presenter, <laughs> I think that might appeal to most, uh, uh, but all of these functions, all of them, are or have been held by alumni of Griffith College. So they have set, basically, the pattern for you to follow. We must match your success with a future of which you will be proud to call yourselves a Griffith graduate. While your awards are recognised throughout the world, they deserve to be recognised as university degrees, equally with those of technological universities, which is our mission. Now, Nothing is achieved without stress and strain. When you get to my age, you greatly value diminishing memory capacity. <laughs> and I recall the memory difficulties of a colleague who sat in a restaurant with his wife trying to recall the name of a restaurant where they had eaten the previous week. He called the waitress over and asked her, tell me the name of a flower. And she said, rose. He said, no. She said, tulip. And he said, no. Then she said, Lily. And he said, ah, yes, that's it. And he turned to his wife and said, Lily, what was the name of the restaurant where we ate last week? <laughs> From this, I hope you will understand the stresses and strains undergone by students and lecturers at exam time. As you leave Griffith today, remember, you are not alone. You are part of a community that spans continents, a legacy that spans generations. Draw strength from your alma mater, from the knowledge that you are equipped not only with the skills and expertise to excel, but with the wisdom to lead with integrity and purpose. As you step into this world of boundless potential, remember the words of Mahatma Gandhi, you must be the change you want to see in the world. The power to effect change lies within each of you. And I've no doubt that you will rise to the occasion, leaving an indelible mark on this world with brilliance, compassion, and unwavering determination. So to all the graduates, may I express the hope that over your period with us, Griffith College will have found a place in your hearts as you have in ours. And I want you to know that you're always welcome on campus, socially, educationally, or just to update us on your success. Or indeed, just to show off the new BMW. <laughs> may I conclude by congratulating you again on that success, by wishing that you may harness the knowledge and experience you have acquired here in Griffith College to achieve what you richly deserve, a successful and fulfilling career. Thank you. Irminish Erin Corlor, Gerald Mitchell, Mayra Kaharagas Kunta Limni, Lowerton and Arave Kamaha. I would now like to invite Councillor Gerard Mitchell Mayor of Limerick City and County to address the graduates. Um, thank you, Tomás and uh, Mr. President, uh, lecturers, 
staff, um, graduates, uh, proud family parents here this evening. <clears throat> I'm delighted to be here. I'd like to extend a warm welcome to one and all here. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, esteemed faculty, proud family members, and most importantly, the graduates of Griffith College, Limerick, 2023. We gather not just to celebrate an academic milestone, but to honor a legacy of education in Limerick City. With campuses in Dublin, Cork, and here in Limerick, Griffith College is the largest independent total level college in Ireland. With its rich history and a commitment to excellence, it has also become a beacon of opportunity for thousands who dare to dream. As we stand on the cusp of Griffiths College 50th anniversary in 2024, let us reflect on the incredible journey from its humble beginnings with 10 students in 1974 to the thriving community of over 7,000 students today. This growth is a testament to the dedication of the lecturers, staff members, and of course, the relentless pursuit of knowledge by each graduate present here. Beyond the walls of this institution, Griffith College breeds life into Limerick, city and county and beyond. Bringing vibrancy to its streets and contributing to the ongoing development of this city. The bonds forged between the college and local industries are not just professional collaborations, but seeds planted for a flourishing future. So graduates, as you step into the world, armed with the knowledge and skills bestowed upon you by Griffith College, remember that you carry the legacy of 50 years of excellence. Go forth, contribute to your communities, and be the architects of change. And just before I conclude, I remember I attended another function, a person defined hope as help other people to excel. And my definition in, of success in life is, be happy with what you do, be happy with who you are, and be happy with what you have. And I wish you all the very best in the future. And thank you. I now welcome you to the part of our proceedings at which national and international awards will be conferred on graduates of the college, and I declare open this awards ceremony. Ira Marin Tullov, dear Matagarty, Uchtaran Kalashti Grefa, Kaliak the Narshunta, Agus Ider Narshunta of Runna, Erna Rave Kema, Atadar Herbert, Egan Galashta. I call upon Professor Dear Matagarty, President of Griffith College, to confer awards on the graduates of the college presented by the college for that purpose. Can I first of all explain the significance of this point of the ceremony? Essentially, you will have, may have noticed that in my uh, previous, in my discussion, in my, my address to you, I refer to you as graduands, and that is the Latin gerund, those in course of graduating. Okay. We are now about to confer upon you the degrees, and. At this point, or following this point, you are, will now be graduates, okay? Can I say this does not in any way take from the, all of the work that you have done in preparation uh, uh, for this, for today. It, it doesn't in any way uh, disregard the work that you've done in terms of the assessments you've passed, the, uh, the, uh, assignments you submitted, the examinations you passed. All of these obviously uh, were effectively, they, through those, those assessments, you have earned the right to call yourselves graduates. But it falls to me the honor of actually, on behalf of QQI, okay, uttering the words, 
that will actually confer upon you your degrees. I'm going to uh, mention them first in Irish, okay, and then having done so, uh, <coughs> then as many of you here, most of you indeed here, would not have Irish as your native tongue, uh, I, I will also state the words in English, okay? Osgwilge. Harkan Kalorsi Griffe, Agus Korle Diavu, Kalikta Agus Kalikti Erlen. Brunum Kalikti Erfjolomori, Ankalorsta, Avin Kaidanamach, Elechna Kalikti, Agus Urum Gugurterne Fjolomori, Fimavroid, Hunga Fedelam, Achid Par, a Herbert Doiv, Gufform Group. In English. On behalf of Griffith College and Quality and Qualifications Ireland, I hereby confer the awards on the learners of the college who achieved the standards determined for those awards. And I ask that those learners be presented to me so that I may formally present them with their parchments. Congratulations. Irmanish er Finbar Sheehy, Sjorhor Idakish, in a pharma, Lowertzliner came ahead. I call upon Finbar Sheehy, Education Director with Inner Pharma Education, to address the graduates. <laughs> President, uh, Lord Mayor, graduates, esteemed guests, ladies and gentlemen. Good morning, my name is Finbar Sheehy and it's a great pleasure for me to welcome you to this graduation ceremony from the Inner Pharma Griffith College Faculty of Pharmaceutical Sciences. I'm delighted that this year we mark a decade of successful collaboration between Griffith College and Inner Pharma. Today a powerful alliance that continues to nurture talent in the life science sector. We also look forward to next year to acknowledge the 50 years of Griffith College's existence a testament to a half a century of commitment to education and innovation. Today we're delighted to celebrate the graduation of learners from our medical device programs. Each of you have embarked on a transformative journey and we are both humbled and honoured that you chose to allow us to join us on your path. In the current digital age, this faculty is committed to upskilling individuals in the areas of pharmaceutical science, medical device and digital transformation in the life science sector. We believe in the power of critical thinking and innovation. In the life science sector, innovation has been the driving force between significant achievements. From the development of personalized medicine to the use of AI in disease diagnosis and treatment, life science has truly revolutionized healthcare. And this is exactly the type of innovation we aim to foster in our graduates, and you're now part of that journey. We clearly live in a difficult time where global disruption and events have greatly affected all of our lives. But as is documented in Edward Howe's book, The Four Turning, history and nature tells us that after every winter of crisis and upheaval is followed by a spring of new insights, new beginnings, new life and new opportunities. These new opportunities also highlight the need for lifelong learning and the development of new skills to keep us agile and prepare us for the future. Sustainability is also a term that's a crucial aspect of all of our lives these days. And in this faculty, we would define our greatest mission is keeping people or making people more sustainable by imparting knowledge that drives innovation and a passion for creating a future in the life science sector. But now we're here to celebrate our medical device graduates. It's a day of celebration for you and your families. Your success may inspire somebody in, beside you or in your family or in your friends to take on a new journey of education in a career in the life science sector. I'd like to remind you of two essential competencies that we hope you carry forward from your time with us in the faculty. Those are curiosity and critical thinking. Curiosity is the desire to learn more about something. We live in a world rich in data, but often lacking in truth. Critical thinking enables you to question, to seek understanding, to uncover the truth amongst all the noise. We're all born with curiosity about the universe, but unfortunately we allow ourselves to be conditioned out of that curiosity and we become judgmental. Curiosity informs us that it's important to approach life with an open mind. Don't take things at face value. It's good to question things, not to be judgmental, but to seek understanding. 
It's also important to seek diversity in everything we do, seek alternative views, different views, different opinions. How can we ever really determine what right is if we never explore what wrong is? Curiosity and learning ultimately gives us that passion to create a future for our children, a future that we may never see ourselves. But above all, be curious for the love and the joy of learning and the ultimate objective of making positive changes in the world around you. Congratulations again to all the graduates and your families. Your success is our honour and our pleasure. And as you move forward in your careers, do keep in touch. And do remember we're all of us here to support and guide you. Your contribution to this faculty and to the college has been invaluable. Thanks again and well done. Gormagat Finbar. Iriminish er Eilish McCarthy, Stuart Horclaw, Lauert Slinner, Kamehem. I call upon Eilish McCarthy, Program Director, to address and present candidates in respect of the college's Harriet Watt and QQI graduate business school programmes. Class of 2023. I stand up here today addressing you all among your family, friends, colleagues, lecturers, past and present, and I can't help but put myself in this, your position at this very moment in time, wondering what inspiration any of us upon this podium can give to you today. But I have come to the conclusion that you are the inspiration to yourself. You made the decisions that you wanted to better your education. It was you that overcome all the challenges that you faced, and today is a celebration of your hard work. In the end, the most important decisions you make in your life are based on those inspirations. You are your own muse. Trust it, build in it, and to prove to yourself that those decisions you made were right. Today is not just only a celebration of your academic achievements, but is also a celebration of the friendships that we have forged along the way. You have shared countless memories with your classmates. We as a faculty and a team have supported each other through the ups and downs and we have celebrated each other's successes. These foreign bonds will undoubtedly last a lifetime, serving a reminder of the strong community that we have built at Griffith College Limerick. We will always be proud of you and your achievements. I would also like to thank your class reps, Lalit, Loyston, Levon, Margot, Abigail, Surav, Yogesh, and Ege. I would also like to show appreciation to Rohit and Kishore for all of their contributions and especially where we saw the beginning of the Griffith Post e-newsletter that was designed to open communications and embrace the diverse culture at Griffith College Limerick and it has been a huge success. You listened, I listened and we worked cohesively as a team. So graduates, I want to congratulate you on your academic achievements today and I hope that you are proud of what you accomplished you now have the power to shape the future. Utilise your knowledge and skills and build the future ahead. Congratulations, class of 2023. <laughs> President, I present to you the following candidates who have successfully completed their programmes and who are worthy of their QQI and Harriet Watt University Awards in Master of Business Administration postgraduate diploma in business and international business management, masters of science in international business management, postgraduate diploma in science and procurement and supply chain management, and masters of science in procurement and supply chain management. Masters of business administration, Michelle Byrne. Blaheen Maloney. <laughs> Postgraduate Diploma in Business in International Business Management, John Wesley Sama.
Masters of Science in International Business Management, Abigail Shibwezi. Maria Cruz. Parveen Dahaya. Conal Cochian. Kanchan Magar. Margot Rayon. Joel Sequeira. Eldo Sonny. Merit Wapera. Ankur Yadav. Filston Lewis. <laughs> Jawanti Mulshandani.
Masters of Science in Procurement and Supply Chain Management, Saji Alapat Johnson. Anish Alipat Anthony. Arsene Anwar. Terence Benjamin Raj. <laughs> Faris Bijou. Soyesh Shakasamadram. Catherine Cornelius. Shreya Stalvi. <laughs> Prashil Dahara. Loyston de Souza. <laughs> Susana Garza Garcia.
Gopika Giri. Jaya Santosh Jaya Chandran. <clears throat> Elizabeth Kabora. Muhammad Kamran. <laughs> Yogesh Kantpal. Samira Kayani. Rahul Kola. <laughs> Kishore Kumar Marigadapa. Rohit Krishna. Agna Mohan. <laughs> 
Sarah Van Ann Mohan. Devi Nangadam. Lena Ninganyu. Ajamal Nazar. Sujal Pandey. Nagesh Patel. Surav Patil. Abhishek Pawar. Venita Pawar. Pratik Ashok Party. <laughs> Samson Josie.
Weera Singh Rajapakshi. Jean Riju. Deepan Ramachandran. Lalit Sankha. <laughs> Mohammed Sarfraz. Denny Sebastian. Atish Sharma. <laughs> Akshit Sharma. Adaita Sh Adaita Shija <laughs> Lionel Saviar. Shiran Shukat. Thank you. 
Seaman Saji Simon. Glenn Liston Toro. Aramal Tankashan. Vishnu Deep Tira Kovlori. Bioma Anthony Uzadike. Janish Vargis. Victor Vargis. <laughs> Sanjeev Virabhadran. Vineet Vija Anathan. <laughs> Asia Yoruba. Prajwal Kumbla. Ngozi Anita Omanagor. <laughs> Shri Sagar, Shri Kumar. Irmanish, Erin Doctor 
on your behin, Stora Hor Clor, came a, a Herbert. I call upon Dr. Anya Behan, Programme Director, to present graduates in respect of the college's Inner Pharma postgraduate diploma in science in medical device technology and business. President, I present to you the following graduates who have successfully completed programmes in the College Faculty of Pharmaceutical Science and who are worthy of QQI awards. The Postgraduate Diploma in Science in Medical Device, Technology and Business. Vlad Carrero. Jill Creedon. Eric Curry. Joseph Fury. Own Hayes. <laughs> Alan McCauley. Elaine O'Connor. Thank <laughs> you. 
Marcus O'Toole. Diana Schroeder. Tenerasu Selva Ganapathy. <laughs> Camila Stencil. David Tiernan. Anne Marie Tracy. Corin Shawcreek, the brother in of Octony. As we conclude our conferring of awards, I'd like to invite everyone to give a special round of applause to all our graduates here and online. Irmanish er Lois and Souza, under the Ranga Lauritslinner Kamaha. I would now like to invite Lloyston de Souza, former class representative and now graduate of the Master of Science in Procurement and Supply Chain Management, to address the graduates today. A very good morning, ladies and gentlemen, families and friends, and all the bright and promising graduates of Griffith College Limerick. As we gather here to celebrate our graduation from Griffith College Limerick, 
I am honored to express our gratitude and appreciation to everyone who has supported us throughout this journey. First and foremost, I would like to express our deepest gratitude to the directors and leaders of Griffith College Limerick. Their dedication and unwavering commitment have been instrumental in shaping this institution into a beacon of knowledge and opportunity. It's the vision that has paved the way for our success today. Our heartfelt thanks also go out to our exceptional faculty and lecturers. Their passion for teaching and their relentless pursuit of excellence have not only imparted knowledge, but have also inspired us to excel. They have been the guiding lights on our educational journey. Let's also not forget those who work tirelessly behind the scenes to keep our college running smoothly. Their efforts often go unnoticed, but they are the silent heroes who make our academic experience possible. And finally, congratulations to all the graduates and best of luck for your exciting journey ahead. Thank you. Or as you the diary glow bar Fiausha went to mock in a good lane. The college now has the pleasure of announcing a number of prizes which are awarded to graduates who've achieved excellence in their studies. And these prizes are awarded in respect of Griffith College Limerick programmes. And I call upon Kevin O'Sullivan, head of the Griffith College Limerick campus, to present the prizes. The first prize is awarded in respect of the Master of Science in International Business Management. The best academic achievement on the Master of Science in International Business Management is awarded to Abgil Sarduze Chibweza. The following prize is awarded in respect of the Master of Science in Procurement and Supply Chain Management. The best academic achievement on the Master of Science in Procurement and Supply Chain Management is awarded to Elizabeth Wambuyoy Kabora. And the final prize is awarded in respect of the Postgraduate Diploma in Science in Medical Device Technology and Business. The best academic achievement on the Postgraduate Diploma in Science in Medical Device Technology and Business is awarded to Jill Creedon. Ian Erica, a green Ushler, Kurum Kriak Leshen, Sharman Asha, Kondavak, the Nia Vrunner, Archemaha, and Kalashta, Baron Buikas Liv Galair. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, this concludes the ceremony for the purpose of conferring awards on the graduates of the college. Our best wishes and thanks to you all. While the graduates are here with us, I'd like to take this opportunity to briefly mention the Griffith College Alumni Network. With over 40,000 graduates living in Ireland, Europe, and in over 104 countries worldwide, the network is an excellent way to stay in touch with classmates, fellow graduates, and the college. The network is also to pro proving to be a valuable resource for recent graduates seeking or changing employment. As we look forward to celebrating the college's 50th anniversary next year, we're delighted to see our graduates from earlier years using the network to recruit Griffith graduates to meet their own organization's needs. Details of the network are on GriffithAlumniNetwork.com and on the college's website. On behalf of the college, I would like to invite all of the guests of the graduates here today to enjoy a glass of wine, cup of tea or coffee, and refreshments immediately afterwards here with us. 
I would ask the graduates to oblige us for a few more moments while we capture on film and in photographic form just how lovely you look today. Once the photographs have been taken, the graduates can rejoin their guests and celebrate their achievements together in style. For now, we wish you every joy and happiness in celebrating your success with your close friends throughout the day. And as a token, we have small boxes of chocolates for everyone as we go our separate ways. Please stand for the academic procession. <laughs>